it's not to overwhelm the audience. It's to show you how much is happening. Uh, Runway introduced Gen 4 of their image to video model. Dartmouth announced their AI therapy chatbot, Therabot, led to clinically significant improvements in patients. Meta intern Kongwei led the release of MOCA, which stands for Towards Movie Grade Talking Character Synthesis, a cutting edge speech and text to video model. ByteDance released Dream Actor M1, another bleeding edge image and video to video model specifically designed for character styles. Crea.ai launched Video Restyle, which changes the style of any video, which is basically the same thing as the last two. Tinder released The Game Game, allowing people to practice their flirting with AI. Midjourney V7 dropped. OpenAI released Paperbench, a benchmarking system for AI agents. Isomorphic Labs, a part of Alphabet who is focused on AI drug discovery, announced $600 million in external funding. Isomorphic is led by CEO Demis Hassabis, who is also the co-founder and CEO of DeepMind. Lindy.ai dropped Agent Swarms, which allows AI agents to duplicate themselves hundreds of times for individual tasks. GenSpark released Super Agent, which they call an ultimate AI assistant that truly autonomously thinks, plans, acts, and uses tools to handle all your everyday tasks. A copyright lawsuit has been combined from California to an ongoing lawsuit in New York over AI training data from books used by OpenAI and Microsoft, which includes authors like John Grisham and ta Coates. An ArcSide paper dropped showing LLMs have passed the Turing test. The new Canadian Prime Minister, Mark Carney, says AI is taking jobs and basic income is the answer. And Sam Altman announced full O3 and O4 mini models in a couple of weeks.